I remember when I was a teenager in the Dominican Republic. I used to, take, to go to school by bus, but one day I decided to save some money and came back home by walking. Then I used to walk along over a, over a, a bridge, over the Nigua River in my community, and you know, it was um, very sunny in the Caribbean, and I, was, I used to sweat alone, but it was not so bad because at the end, I realized that I lost some pounds. But anyway, I love chocolates and I gave my kilos back. <laughs> so I understood that I keep trying losing weight, but it keeps trying finding me. Anyway, the point is that thousands of people used to walk along over this bridge in this river and did nothing. It is easy to do nothing. I was tempted to do nothing, but I couldn't. Then I began thinking, what was the situation in my community? Why this was happening? What kind of things could be done? And I understood that there was a list of lack of things that were happening in my community. There was a lack of awareness among the people, and they didn't understand what was the linkage between the pollution in the river, in the river and their health. Also, I understood that there was a lack of political interest to make a change in the community. And finally, a lack of trained engineers to design sustainable and practical solutions to make a change in the community. So then I, was, then I understood that something needed to be done. Then it was needed a social change to, to make a different future for our community. I was looking for an opportunity to make a change in my community, and this is how I got the opportunity to study agriculture and environmental science at Earth University in Costa Rica. As you can see, it was very green, it was very sustainable, and I really loved being there. But I realized that the community surrounding my university was suffering the same environmental problems as back in my country. There were large plantations of pineapple and banana that were destroying the soil, and also they were cut in the forest, and so limiting the biodiversity in Costa Rica. So then, um, I was then I was thinking, what kind of things could be done, not just to change the reality in Costa Rica and in my country, but in the world? So then I had the chance to attend to global events, like the Clinton Global Initiative for Universities. You saw these this slides before, anyway. But um, then I had the chance to hear global leaders inspiring young people to make changes, not just in their communities, in their universities, but in the world. And then I, feel, I felt inspired. I felt I could really do something in Costa Rica and in my country. And this is how I got this idea, Solutions for My Planet. It was an environmental competition among 100 children in Pocora community in Costa Rica. The aim of this competition was to train children to raise awareness among them about the situation of pollution in, in their community, but also to bring ideas in conjunction with their parents and teachers on projects that could be implemented and change the reality in their community. Well, it was a very interesting idea, but we were only two girls two young girls from different countries, foreigners in Costa Rica, and with no money. So it was very challenging. But we were enthusiastic and really wanted to make a change in this community and in our countries. So we start with the idea, even though with no money, but then we had to learn how to fundraise money and to make this idea possible. So we started with the competition, it lasted three months, and we trained the children on topics of sustainability, environmental topics, and global issues. They were very interested. We also showed them some case studies of success in other parts of the world, things that they can implement in their schools. So, this is how on September 29, 2010, we got 100 children presenting their projects and idea of how they see their community and what kind of things they can do in their community to make it a better place. They were really inspired, and we were very proud that our effort and our idea that came out of nothing was made, being possible. We invited the Ministry of Education, the Ministry of Environment, and also the press, because we wanted to connect these experts in the field change makers, leaders in Costa Rica with these children that are going to be the future, gen the future and the leaders of Costa Rica and in the world, why not? So we invited all these people to inspire the children. They got together and these children really felt the necessity to make a change in their community. Well, we had to choose a winner, but all of these schools were already winners because they realized the situation in their community and they developed projects. So through the community development program in my university, it was given a follow-up to the ideas and then to implement them. So 
Some schools installed biodigesters to treat their organic waste and their wastewaters, so to use the methane to cook the breakfast and the lunch for the children. Other schools in installed um, organic, urban, sustainable practices for growing vegetables that can be used for the lunch and the breakfast for the children as well. And other schools installed something like an environmental scout group, so the children keep raising awareness about the situation of pollution in their community. So we had 100 children that were, that were already aware of the situation of pollution in their community and were already implementing things. But they were challenged during, five, during a month to tell five people what they learned during these sessions. So we, we make a total of 2,000 people that were impacted indirectly because of this idea. So at the end of our studies, my partner and I received the sustainability prize in our university due to the big impact this idea made in this community. Now I look back at this experience and I feel that I have the power, I have the inspiration to make a change in my community and mobilize people to make a change in my community. So the situation of our planet is urgent. Life is short. We need to make changes, but make them now. But as my personal advisor says, the process to change the world follows a pattern like this. Purpose, intention, creativity, courage, and initiative towards a better future. Thank you very much.